I really think you'll enjoy what's coming up. It's been quite exciting doing this. And actually, right at the end, you'll see the results. And I think you'll be surprised. So the plan for today's video, or today's project I should say, is actually to try and take my Chinese diesel heater and see if I can make it more efficient. Now the one I've already got in my workshop puts out so much heat out that exhaust that just goes out onto the moor. Wasted. Now I've searched around YouTube, I'm a great YouTube fan. As well as content creator, I'm a massive content consumer. And I stumbled across a really good video. I can't remember the guy's name now, but I'll put a link down in the description. Uh, check it out, honestly, it's a brilliant video. And basically he looked at how, you taking one of these Chinese diesel heaters, you could put the exhaust into water, it heat the water up, the water could then be used for anything really, but also the water would give out heat through a metal bucket. It was a great idea, didn't quite work. And he realizes why it didn't work. And in the comments, there's people offering suggestions. Well, I was inspired. So I decided that I'd have a go myself and see if I could make myself sort of a heat battery, a storage battery with what I've got just laying around the yard. So, let's get to it. So I've already drilled this hole, filed it so it's nice and smooth, so it shouldn't cut the exhaust. I've got a straight bit. The, the idea of that is that will poke out the bottom here, like so. And then the rest of this should curl round. Now what I do need to make sure is that the lowest point is where the exhaust comes out because Yeah. 
diesel tank, filled the diesel tank, I primed it. The air is now just trying to pull through for the first time. The glow plugs are on, so all the air's out the line. It's starting to go up in power. I've set it to P10 to start with. It'll take a while to get up there. Here it goes. It's like a jet engine when it gets going, it's amazing. Now would be a perfect time to like and subscribe. Oh, so that's cold. You can see that because I'm putting my hand on it. That is amazing. We'll see after a while how it heats up, but that, oh, oh, the top of this is nice and warm already. In fact, I'd go as far as saying it's hot. At the moment, I've got everything on bits of slate, but I'm gonna get some heat proof lagging and put around thing once I've settled on the final design. But so far, so good. But I'm really chuffed. So lush. I'm really chuffed with that. So I'm really happy because I've got this working. It's not the prettiest thing, let's, let's face it. Uh, but a lot of thought's gone into it. There are things that can still be improved. If you spot anything yourself, please let me know because I'm happy to make a, a second sort of version, a revised version. If I was to revise this, I would probably look at a way of putting the exhaust down more first. So maybe having the barrel a little bit higher that's something to consider. Certainly the, the way round it is, I, I hadn't actually expected it to be that far over. What I should have done was drilled the exhaust hole this side, have the whole thing the other way around. That would have been a lot better. This is certainly a working model. This is by no means hot, but it's not freezing cold like it was. This top bit is hot. I wish I had one of them snazzy infrared cameras. It'd be really good to see the hot spots and that on here. So I've got thermal imaging camera on. You can see there's some hot spots there. You can see my hand is a bit warmer. You got the controller there. That's obviously got power going to it. You can see the fuse down there, the power pack. Um, there's the battery just over at the side here, you can see. Uh, the fuel's obviously over in the tank there. Weighs a little bit, sorry, is a little bit warmer than the controller and the watering can over there as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna fire it up and then we're gonna see how the heat changes, basically. Right, so we've been going for a little while, it's heated up, it's all going, let's, uh, let's check the thermals. It is water and the water is also finding its way down here, which is really good news. Obviously at the rate this is burning and the air coming in, the air in here is at about 80% humidity already. So there's a lot of water to be had. The fact that the water is actually condensing and coming out of the muffler is absolutely amazing because it means that it's not blocking. It means that the whole exhaust is running downhill the whole way, which means we won't get any error codes, any problems with the diesel heater. So really, really happy at this point. So the heater has been running for quite a while at this point. Uh, you can see that the water coming out is uh, is leaving a heat signature of about 15 to 20 degrees. And the actual muffler at the end of the exhaust pipe is showing about 27 degrees. That's not that hot really. Obviously the daytime temperature and everything like that was probably only about 12 degrees here. So we are still losing some heat, but um, it's, a significant drop when you compare it to the exhaust that's registering about, well, let's have a look, about 211 degrees C. So we're dropping like 190 degrees sort of area of heat into that sand, which means we're recovering that much heat, which is frankly amazing. Um, so really, really chuffed with the results that we've got from this. So once everything was turned off and obviously allowed to cool down, I did go back and check the temperature of the barrel. Whilst everything seemed to cool down quite quickly in terms of the exhaust, the actual casing and that, the barrel took a lot, lot longer to cool down. Now bear in mind, it didn't get really, really hot over the sort of 30 minutes I was running this test, but the temperature it went up to stayed at that temperature for at least three hours. Um, at that point, sadly, my battery had run out on my phone, my battery had run out in the end on the thermal imaging camera, and it was time for me to go home. All in all though, this has turned out a 
far better than I expected and hoped. Uh, the next stage will be to actually try this inside my workshop so that I can have a look in more detail at, at how the temperatures um, change and actually how much energy I am recovering. If you've got any ideas, any improvements, spotted any glaring errors that I've made, please hit me up in the comments below. I'd really like to know how to improve this and you guys collectively, probably individually, have got far better minds than me. Um, I'm just willing to try it out. I've got the time, I've got the space. Really happy with this.